Ashland has provided many opportunities for my personal transformation and um, my opportunity to grow. Um, but it has more importantly um, challenged me into surrendering to who Christ intends me to be. And that's not necessarily an easy road to walk, but it's the best road to walk. I've been astounded at the inclusiveness of women. There are definitely times within ministry where I really feel like a woman and that feels like, it feels almost like so evident and obvious that it feels odd and here it feels normal that this is this is who we are women have um, an active and crucial role that they play in the kingdom of God and a way of pastoring that is unique what what God does through a woman when she pastors and what God does through a man when he pastors is different and so I just really appreciate both and it's a fuller picture of the image of God and I've really experienced that here. Um, I have actually in Arizona a seminary about a mile away from my house and many people have asked me why would you go all the way to Ohio and the truth of the matter is the seminary that's um, close to me doesn't graduate women um, and it was very important to me to find a place that valued women, valued their input, valued their uh, creation and the image that they were created in. We're not proponents of women going out in ministry to do all of the support roles. And we do believe that women are gifted to be in the pulpit as well as senior administrations and churches. And that people should be placed based on their giftings and based on their strengths. Um, yes, my favorite professors, there are actually two of them, um, Dr. Terry Wardle and um, I would also say Dr. Well, now he's academic dean, Paul Chilcote. They are both in the top running because they have both played a very special part in my personal growth um, and also in helping me understand um, what direction I was being called. I think of Dr. Baker who's my Hebrew professor who is a really thoughtful guy and has a genuine love for um, for scholarship, for, for theology, taught, you know, he's just a, a great mind and yet a really great husband. I can tell how much he loves his wife and he even, they even brought me some gluten-free things because I have a really strict diet and so just even on a really personal level, something small like that was really meaningful to me. The first time I sat with a client and counseled with them and um, we went into formational prayer together and different spiritual disciplines together and so forth and practiced. Um, I knew, I knew that I was walking into who Christ called me to be and the service that He has called me to. And there is no better place to get that training than right here.